Shalom Chavrim, I'm Steve Benun. you're watching Israeli News Live, and uh, we apologize, we just did not get a chance to upload this past weekend here, and uh, because the conference that was going on, a very intensive, a lot of information that we were sharing there, and uh, we are uploading the information from the conference there on Patreon. Uh, we have decided that we can do that, and uh, so the first broadcast will actually be loaded, uh, is actually in the process of loading now, so it will load this evening. That's Patreon forward slash uh, Israeli News Live. I'll put a link for you once it's uploaded in the description here of the video here, those of you that want to tune in. Uh, I'll load up Yana's uh, hopefully tomorrow. And, uh, and then Dr. Pigeons uh, may have to wait till next week to upload his uh, speech because we're limited on how much Vimo allows us to load. We're only allowed to load 20 gigabytes a week, and there's a lot of information that we have. And uh, so, again, plus two, it takes a little bit of time to edit, uh, and Yana's is going to be a little bit more lengthy to edit as well. So hopefully we can get both of those up uh, this week, and uh, by next week have everything up on Patreon. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some news that's been going on, and I actually picked this up the other day, and I just, during the conference, wasn't able to report on this there, but Michael D. on his own Twitter page there, uh, showing Russian troops there that are on the move uh, inside of their country near Chechnya. Uh, big issue happening right there, and uh, we can see uh, from this... Uh, video here, large-scale military operation being moved down into that uh, area of Chechnya because of their, there's there's this issue over uh, land uh, swaps down there and the people beginning to protest over this. And uh, so, you know, Putin is not playing around. He's sending his troops in there to deal with the situation. We have that video there. Uh, also on this one here, uh, same thing. This is for Chechnya here. Another video that was uh, being shown there of the military moving down in the area there mostly seems to be uh, uh, military personnel not so much heavy armaments such as tanks and things of that nature there uh, but more to deal with the unrest over the exchange of land from what i understand that's what this is uh, actually uh, actually going on about another issue that's happening as well lebanon decides to confront israel and the u.s in uh, sheba copper shuba and Syria. This is over the disputed territories between Lebanon and Israel. See, uh, after uh, President Trump has recognized the Golan to be a part of uh, Israel, now Lebanon is worried about some of their little towns that are bordering Israel, that Israel may uh, include those territories in this uh, land over the border there with the Golan. So they have asked Russia to come in to help them out on this. They've already formed an alliance between uh, Lebanon, Syria, and Iraq, and Iran. All are, are actually Iran, uh, Iraq, and Syria are working on a, a group to, to forge an alliance together. They met in Damascus uh, this past weekend there, and they're concerned more and more about the growing threat that they feel that Israel poses and of course, as long as Iran continues to build up any type of military presence inside of Syria, there's definitely going to be a threat there. But it's not just that. We realize, too, that um, uh, there is a strong desire to want to take down Iran by Israel and uh, the U.S. coming to be uh, or coming to the aid and defense of Israel to do just that. And with these type meetings that are going on, every time I see this, especially when they're using Damascus to be the meeting place, I can't help but think that we're about to see Damascus become that ruinous heap. Uh, so it's not looking good there. Uh, moving on over to Venezuela, the VOA News is reporting here Trump's uh, uh, military must get out. I'll play this little bit of this little clip right here for you. Whoops, sorry. Uh, anyway... I don't think we have enough volume here. Yeah, we do. Hang on. We can we can actually change the volume. Give me one second here. The volume right here, so we'll be able to hear all of this. Uh, but this is a, speaking about the Russian planes that are coming in there. Uh, and, of course, President Trump is going to be saying that all options are on the table, that Russia must leave. Listen into this. Two Russian Air Force planes landed in the capital city of Caracas over the weekend, reportedly carrying a Russian defense official and nearly 100 troops. 
The arrival comes as the United States, along with dozens of other countries, are pressing Venezuelan leader Nicolas Maduro to step down, to be replaced by opposition leader Guaido. Russia has to get out. Uh, what's your next question? While Moscow backs Maduro, Trump says all options are on the table, including the military. All options are open. He was responding to a reporter's question Wednesday about whether the United States is willing to put boots on the ground to remove the Russians. The American president also assured Fabiano Rosales that the U.S. is going to get it all worked out, while also criticizing Maduro over the failure of efforts to get humanitarian Kind of interesting to see how this is playing out there in the Southern Hemisphere. And regardless, no matter which way you look at it, it's, it's just obvious that uh, uh, every nation that is not on board part of this new world order that is coming up is being toppled and overthrown. Uh, Venezuela is no different. It's one of those countries in South America that has to be toppled. Uh, they have to put in this... Uh, interim dicta uh, interim president there that are in or they call it interim president but he's actually a de facto president that's being placed in we knew that as far back as october we've shared that information with you guys before and uh so that's that's the course of action that we're seeing that's being taken uh by the white house following in suit there and of course iran has still got to be taken down as far part of this new world order plan damascus will be taken down syria lebanon don't forget general wesley clark spoke about lebanon as well uh, and this is the summit that met in Damascus there just recently, the article about it, Iran, Iraq, Syria, military integration, biggest fear, Israel, Hezbollah, linked an, uh, analyst uh, says on here, and, uh, and, I, and I'm assuming what he's saying is that Israel fears more Hezbollah than they do uh, even the trilateral nations because Hezbollah does have a lot of missiles there, and they do. Iran does supply uh, Hezbollah with that technology and with more advanced technology, and Hezbollah has those missiles, missiles that are capable of even traveling four kilometers per second. Those type missiles, Israel can't shoot down so easily with the uh, the systems that they have. Uh, of course, the U.S. has moved the THAAD system with inside of Israel. I don't know if the THAAD system can knock them down either because that's a high-altitude uh, defense system. And these missiles here, I do not believe, are high-altitude missiles there. But here, back on uh, March the 18th of 2019, they met in the uh, Syrian capital of Damascus. And they were discussing, that is, uh, Syria, Iraq, and Iran, uh, bringing their militaries together to join together to try to defend their countries against uh, any uh, is Israeli U.S. led uh, aggression against their nations. So I have to see, wait and see how that all plays out. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on as well, this was another interesting uh, tweet that I saw here on UA, NATO, USA, Israel. Uh, there say, it says here in the Russian language that NATO forces are already operating and working inside of Ukraine. That's another nation uh, that they want to make sure they have full control out, uh, over and that it is part of a New World Order agenda. And when I say New World Order agenda, please don't, don't mis, uh, mistake it. You know, Putin is certainly playing that New World Order agenda card as well. And I think that what he's doing is playing the adversary. That's what helps get, keep this economic uh, world order moving. And, uh, you know, him moving his troops into Venezuela, the issue over in Ukraine, all of this is Hegelian dialectic, no doubt about it. Uh, let's see, I got one other thing here. I don't know if that was it or not. White House backs 10. Oh, we're going to be getting into that a little bit later. That'll be on Stephen Yana chat. We're not going to be able to run it live, and, and I'll tell you why, because... Uh, we're having some kind of an issue with this new format that, that YouTube has placed out. Every time we run a live chat, it's always going to an old program. We haven't figured out how to work this new system where we can run it live. Now, if we're able to do it, we will, but we're going to probably pre-record it. Uh, and we may be doing that as early as tomorrow. We have some new information that is going to really... Uh, I think shock a lot of people. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you. Thank you for your support of this broadcast. And also, uh, don't forget, patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. That's where you can see the conference we'll be loading here uh, for you this week and next week. Arab Talk.